Hey guys, this is Tyler Cristofoli over at Station 4, and I want to talk about a certain arrangement of the leads to get a better view of atrial activity. Uh, Dr. Sir Thomas Lewis invented a certain arrangement of leads to get a better look at fibrillation and flutter waves during atrial activity. And what he did was he took your your standard limb leads and your right lower and left lower are still going to go as they normally would, but your right arm electrode is going to go in at the second intercostal space just right of the sternal border, and that one will go here. And then you're going to take your left arm electrode, and your left arm electrode is going to go at the fourth intercostal space just right of the sternal border. So you're going to end up with a lead placement that looks like this. Uh, as I said, the lower limbs, uh, lower limb leads will still go as normal on those leads. Now what this is going to do is it's going to give you a better picture of atrial activity in lead one. So once you get that on, you want to make sure you go into your monitor by selecting lead and select lead one. And this is going to give you a really good look. It's going to cut down the amplitude of the QRS complexes because we know sometimes it can be hard to decipher atrial activity when you have big bounding QRS complexes or widening of the QRS complexes that can make deciphering a flutter or a fib more difficult. So I'm going to include some links and notes of this at the uh, comment section of this video. I encourage you guys all to get out in your ambulance. Go ahead and try it um, and let me know what you think. Take care.